Hi, I'm Joanne Banco, author, designer, and online educator at Let's Go Sew. I've got a star-styled jumpsuit for you today. It's a really great Garmin project with some nice extra details. So jumpsuits are really, really popular. They're so comfortable, they're so much fun to wear, and you can see you can something you could easily dress up, dress down. With this, we've added a, um, a silver belt. We could add some silver sandals. I think you're gonna really like this. I'm gonna give you some really great details, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the fabric. So let's get started with that. This is fabric that is technically called a double gauze and it's created by two layers of gauze woven together, attached actually, um, about every inch. So it's pre-wrinkled, pre-crinkled, which I love because it's perfect for travel. You literally roll it up, put it in your suitcase, and you don't have to worry about any pressing when you get to your destination. So that is always a great thing. But it's really, really comfortable to wear because it's all cotton, it breathes, but because it is a double gauze, if you look, I've got my hand under here right now, and there is no um, sheer effect even on this lighter color. So hopefully you can see those little stars sparkling on there. It's the same exact fabric that is on the uh, dress form in the jumpsuit garment and actually the same fabric that I'm, that I'm wearing just without the, the metallic little bit of glitz to it. So let's talk about patterns. What kind of pattern would you want to choose for this fabric? You definitely want something that's loose fitting. So if you look at my um, pattern that I've selected, it's really an ideal pattern for this. It's loose, loose fitting, wide leg jumpsuit, again, very in style, very popular, very chic looking as well. And it has a variety of different closure options um, at the neckline. You have, um, on this particular pattern, featured lacing with eyelets, um, lacing with buttonholes, and then also a closure with button loops. So I chose metal eyelets for this one. It's ideal, again, to pick up that extra little sparkle, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set those. So I've got a great technique that I wanna talk about first for um, facings. And when we talk about facings, look at the pattern piece that I have here. This is your traditional, standard, normal back facing. They're very small. Clues to quality garments are to, again, shop good quality, ready to wear, you will very often find a wider facing at the back neck. Why is that? Well, if you've struggled with the flip out and you know somebody's going back and kind of fixing your neck because your facing's flipping out, that's one of the keys to why they make facings wider in the back. It's a really easy upgrade to make. So here's how I do it. I simply add an inch at the um, shoulder area and then I add three inches at the bottom, and you can use a, a curved ruler or you can just trace that line and literally just trace that off and reshape it. When you're done, this is what you have. I cut this out on a fold so you can see that would be my full back pattern piece. So how about the front? Well, if we've added an inch to the shoulder area of the back facing, we need to do the same thing for the front. So I've done that as well. So this would be my front facing piece, this would be my back. You also notice that I did it on pattern tracing cloth. If I'm revamping a pattern, I'm you know creating new details, very often I will choose to do those tracings on a pattern tracing cloth. I don't have to worry about the paper wrinkling or crinkling, and it's just a really nice um, product to, to work with. Now, I promised to tell you just a little bit about notions as well. So if you look at the, uh, the jumpsuit and you see the, the lacing there, the pattern actually came with a pattern piece for creating that narrow um, tube of fabric that would then be turned into the, the you know, lacing, the drawstring, actually. And I opted for uh, something that I could purchase from the trim section instead. It, this is a trim called, uh, some people call it rat tail cord, some people call it soutache cord, but it's, it's highly washable, comes in lots of colors, very, very silky and very smooth, and a whole lot easier to lace through those eyelets, and a lot of a time saver rather than creating um, those strips. So you can do that, but with this fabric being crinkled, you'd have to flatten it out, and it's, and it's pretty soft, and it, um, it would be a little bit difficult to, to turn that. So why not opt for something like this? Elastic. If you notice, this has this beautiful 
comfortable elastic waist, which is really, that's a, that's a hot item in, in fashion. I'm seeing it a lot in patterns and I'm seeing it in ready to wear. One of the great things about having elastic at the waist, especially for a jumpsuit item like this, is that it gives you a little bit more forgiveness. You know, when you have a pair of pants and they're fitted, that waistband has to be exactly at the right spot. But when you have elastic, you have a little bit of room to, to move. So the elastic that I like to use is a knitted elastic. It's very, very um, strong and very stretchy. So when you use this type of elastic, make sure that you stretch it around your body. Don't bother using the measurement guide that they give you if you choose this knitted elastic because in all likelihood, you're gonna to need to cut it a little smaller than you normally would think. So just put it around, make it, make it snug so it feels comfortable, and then add two inches that you can overlap to stitch that elastic. All right, how about if I show you this really great facing technique? Let's move over to the machine and I'm gonna show you how I stitch this. So first I started out with cutting my facings, just like you saw from my facing patterns, and cutting my interfacing. Now, my interfacing today is black. You would absolutely not use black with your gray fabric, but I want you to be able to see the contrast really, really good. And I just used a, um, a traditional uh, woven interfacing. So generally speaking, you find that in black and you find it in white. You could also use a fusible interfacing with this technique, but you would fuse it after you stitch it. So if you see what I've done, I've just pinned, I've cut my facing, I've sewn my shoulder seams, and I've pinned it all around the outer raw edge. This would usually be sandwiched against my fabric on the right side, on the wrong side rather. Today you see that I have this placed right sides together. What I've done by making that facing a little wider is I've built in some seam allowance. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the machine and I wanna sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around this. So we're changing and we're moving that needle all the way over to 5.5. That's gonna give me a perfect quarter inch from the edge of that foot. And then we're just gonna stitch around that. I would probably be a little neater if I was doing this for a real garment, but you understand this is a sample piece. Just keep those raw edges together. Remember, we've got right sides together. Yeah, you know, think about your interfacing when you um, select it. Um, I did mention fusible, and if you use a fusible, you're gonna, you're gonna have to be very, very careful the way you, you press this. You don't wanna overpress. In fact, I really should have mentioned that at the very beginning when I talked about working with the fabric. This fabric is pre-wrinkled, so you don't wanna unwrinkle it when you're, um, when you're pressing it. I use what I call a hovering technique. And that just simply means I use a lot of steam on my iron and I hover over the seam. And instead of making direct contact with my iron and my fabric, I let the steam make the contact. And then I use my hand pressure and I just pat it down. So that's my method for, for um, pressing this. And if you did that with fusible interfacing, you would um, just very, very, very lightly use that. But it's really preferred to have a, a sew-in interfacing. So I'm almost at the end, going all the way down here, and I'm just gonna backstitch that in, cut that thread. Okay, and you can see in effect, what I have done is I have lined my facing piece. So again, I want you to take a good look at that. And when that's all smoothed out, and that's all turned out and pressed, that is gonna be the, the what would have normally been the finished, um, or unfinished rather, raw edge, and these raw edges then will be sewn all around my neckline. So when that's turned, and that's on the inside of the garment, it's gonna have a nice, neat, clean finish. You may wanna take an extra step and top stitch that, edge stitch that, or um, possibly um, even use a multi uh, zigzag just to anchor that down and flatten it out. Again, press it a little bit, 
use that um, hovering technique. So how about we go back over to the table and I show you the eyelets? Because these are really, really, really easy to do. First of all, you absolutely want to have your fabric interfaced. Okay, your, this would be on the facing. And then cut little extra pieces. The first step is to literally punch a hole. So I've got my hole puncher ready and I've got now a tiny little hole there. I'm going to simply push out the tools that I've used to punch the hole. And I've got a nice little gadget here that pushes that right out. Okay, and I'm going to pop that in and I'm going to pop that in and now I've got my eyelet setter. So I simply push the eyelet through the hole and again I've punched all the way through that little extra interfacing is just going to give us a little bit more stability and then I simply put the protected end over the eyelet, give it a squeeze and voila I've got a perfect beautiful eyelet. So you would do that for each and every one all the way through. It's an easy addition to add. Even if you have a garment that just has a, a split neckline, you can do that same technique. This tool makes it really, really easy. So upgrade your facings, make your garment as beautiful on the inside as it is on the outside, add some extra details, add some comfort, and you've got a beautiful star style jumpsuit to wear anywhere, cruise, resort, travel, or your own backyard.